Good morning. Peace and blessings. Happy Monday. How are you all doing today? It is um, still early here in Los Angeles. Yesterday, I hope you guys had a really nice weekend. My weekend was nice. One of my cats has been in heat. That one up there. All set. It's been intense. <laughs> But I discovered that I could give her a little bit of CBD oil to help her relax. And I did that last night and it really worked. We slept because um, she's been spending time. She saw a male cat at the door, at the window. A male cat heard her, I think I said yesterday, and, and came. And she's just been really um, anxious since then. And so a girlfriend of mine who is an animal communicator an incredible animal communicator told me to give her some CBD oil. But let me tell you about my girlfriend who's an incredible man, American, um, animal communicator. She's the woman who runs um, 13 Moons with me. Her name is Cheryl Bouget. And one time I was on the phone with a girlfriend of mine. A, she was actually an assistant. She was helping me. She was She's a girlfriend, but she was also assisting me with something. And she got on the phone and she was really sad. And I was like, what's going on? She was like, I can't find my puppy. My dog got lost and it's been four days. And I was like, what? And she was so heartbroken. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, all right, let me call my girlfriend and see what to do. So I called my girlfriend, Cheryl. And I was like, Cheryl, what to do? You know, my other girlfriend's dog is lost. And she said, okay, send me a picture of the dog. So my girlfriend whose dog was lost lived in Detroit. So she sent me the picture of her dog via text. Cheryl lives in Arizona. And I sent the picture to her in Arizona. And then she called me back and she said, the dog is wandering the city in Detroit and is lost. Doesn't know how to get home. Tell your girlfriend to go to her house sit in the middle of the floor in her house and send a signal, like say the dog's name in her mind. Just say it, just say it over and over and over again and sit there for a while so the dog can get a signal to understand where she is and you know how to get home. Do you know that dog was home in a matter of hours? <laughs> hours? In a matter of hours, had been lost for four days. My girlfriend went and sat in her living room and sent a signal to her dog and her dog came home. And, you know, that's the kind of, that's the power that we're actually here to be living and activated inside of. Where nothing is off limits to us, where we can access everything and see everything. And, you know, that's, that's the, that's the way I live my life, <laughs> you know, and, and it doesn't mean that I don't have things that come up because I do that are challenging. You guys hear me sharing the stuff, but that's the work. The work is to remove the obstacles, to remove the blocks to love, right? The work is to remove the blocks to love. And the more we remove our stories, our our um our 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 traumas, the more we remove our perceptions that block us from the truth of who we are, then we can bend these realities. And, you know, nothing is off limits. And so that was a great story about my girlfriend, Cheryl. So um, I'm really off on a tangent. <laughs> so today is the day governed by the moon. And the moon is currently at the zero degree of Capricorn. The moon is in its balsamic phase, which means that it is in the dark phase. We are in the dark of the moon. And the moon is going, we're going to have a new moon tomorrow night at 9.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's going to be conjunct Pluto. So I'm certain that everybody is feeling this. This is death, that like something has to go. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but this is the opportunity for us to let go of something. And, you know, um, I really encourage you all to come and learn how to do the moon work because it is profound. Um, and because it helps you see where you are. Otherwise, you are moving through this experience blindly without any sort of um, direction on how to function through your own life. And so then things, it's it you tend to feel like a victim, right? So right now I am 
so the new moon is going to be in Capricorn and Capricorn is our is our personal authority is our is authority but it's also the authority that we give to others <laughs> it's also the authority that we give to others in our lives and so i personally am looking at where i have given my authority away to the patriarchy because capricorn is the patriarchy and the patriarchy is a really tricky code and energetic system that runs through our lives in multiple ways. It's not a bad thing because it has served its purpose, but it is a thing that is outdated because the feminine is returning. So the patriarchy has been the leading power up until now for the last, you know, 500, 1500 or so years, but that is ending and the feminine is reemerging. Last night, the moon um, crossed out of Sagittarius and it crossed the galactic center at 27 degrees. And so that energy is bringing in a new energy. The galactic center is like the womb of the universe. So a new energy is being born. And, um, and this patriarchal energy is this energy that has been externally focused it has been um, power grabbing, power seeking. It has needed a great deal of power to build the physical reality. So which is why it has been that way. I'm not trying to make the patriarchy wrong. The patriarchy has served its purpose, but the feminine is the internal energy. And now we need things to come back into balance. So our connection to the patriarchy has to begin to dissolve the way we function within it, the way we use it, the way we focus our energies externally and our, the way we give ourselves away for free without having the, um, the equanimity and the feminine and, and masculine balance. Um, the feminine has been, the feminine has sacrificed herself for the patriarchy to exist and needed it that needed to occur but now that needs to stop the feminine really now needs to move into understanding that she is first and foremost the internal the internal reality is where we have to function from from here on out really understanding that we are in a connection with the divine universe the divine the cycles like the feminine is the cycles of life the feminine is the internal power. The feminine is the dark. And as we are in the dark of the moon, in the balsamic phase, moving into the new moon, which is going to be conjunct Pluto, literally, it's like what aspects of the patriarchy are dying within you? What aspects of the patriarchy where you have um, put your, in, your energy on the external and not on the internal? First, first. You know, um, the, the internal and the ethereal go first, <laughs> and then that creates the external. So, you know, when we have, we most of us have been going from the external to the internal, but we need to go from the internal to the external. So look at your life and see. I know for me personally, I had such a huge awakening yesterday when I was in the forest. I had had a really beautiful conversation with someone that I had been really very connected to and really saw how my um, my connection to my mother, which, and I've shared with you how my mother was a prostitute, but there was something in my energy that was submitting to the masculine in a way that was out of alignment because of what I saw my mother experience. Um, because I saw her be physically brutalized and saw her give her energy away for free. There was something that I was doing inside of myself that truly was out of alignment with my own authority and, and giving and taking care of myself first and foremost. So this moon cycle, as we're moving into the new moon, it is important that we begin to release the aspects of ourselves that have um, given our energy over to others without equanimity with without clear equanimity without understanding how things are serving and without recognizing if the feminine this internal reality is being honored first the feminine is the the guiding power in everything that we do our internal understanding of things the moon governs the feminine 
um, which is our internal reality. The moon governs the psyche. And so the more we are willing to spend time doing things to cultivate our psyche and remember and meditate and follow the moon and do the moon work, we can really begin to transform ourselves. So this new moon is going to be conjunct Pluto, which means something has to die. Something is dying. So what what are you laying out to die, you know? And and this is an uncomfortable energy. This is not fun. This is painful and people are in spaces where they might be experiencing a lot of deep suffering and a lot of deep sorrow. And that's why the moon work this month is focused on grief. Like, what are you grieving? What needs to be released? And grief is something that you have to just allow to, um, to come for you, you know? So I know for me, I am, I am really grieving, you know, this old behavior of mine where I would submit myself in ways that were out of alignment with my own authentic power, with my own self-authority, with my own internal authority. Like the things that have come up against my own internal authority, I am releasing them. And I am I am looking at how I learned that pattern from my mother. And I watched her give all of her energy, all of her joy, all of her goodness to men because she didn't know, she didn't have a real deep sense of self. She didn't have something that was her own. And I know that there's something that is, or what she had that was her own, did not um, replenish her in the way that made her sovereign, is what I will say. She was dependent upon men for her resources, for her well-being, and for her sense of self. And that is what I am letting go of inside of me because I have finally seen, oh, what it is to be able to take care of myself and not need anybody else, really. You know, it's something else. You know, for so many years, I was really seeking out the comfort and the protection of a man because I didn't know that I could do that for myself <laughs> through my relationship to the divine. And then when I understand that for myself, what I have to offer to a man is very different because he doesn't have to use his power in that patriarchal way to like protect and provide. Then if we both understand our sovereignty, our power can come together and be used for magic and creating something when both people are awake, aware, and understand the order of things. And the order is that the feminine leads. And so with that, I encourage you, we are in the new moon energy to make a new moon intention that has something to do with you being absolutely loyal to yourself, putting yourself first, first, because this cycle started in Libra. And Libra is the energy that is about partnership and marriage. And, um, and, but the, but Mars has been in Aries. So we are coming home to ourselves first. This new moon is going to be, um, conjunct Pluto. So something is dying. So I encourage you to stand on your square, like, let go of everything. Let everything die. Let Like for me, I'm letting go of everything. I'm not holding on to anybody, anything, any belief system. I'm just, because Pluto is here. So let be willing to let everything go. Be willing to let everything go, except the love you have for yourself. <laughs> and that will sustain you through this, the next couple of days. Hold on to the love that you have for yourself. And that is enough. Okay, peace and blessings. Register for the um, rebirthing the authentic self, becoming your God image. And we are going to have an incredible time in that class. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thank you to all of you who are registering already. Oh, what a beautiful time to be alive. What a beautiful time to be alive. Life is good. I send love and light and blessings and eternal um, goodness to each and every one of you. Okay, you all. Okay, let's do this. Bye-bye.